Hey there, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I'll talk to you about a question that I usually get when working with Google Workspace customers, which is, is Google Sheets really powerful? I'm sure in case if you recently switched to Google Sheets or Google Workspace, or maybe if you're considering your move, you might be evaluating Google Sheets versus some of the competitor products, or maybe you would have some use cases, and you're trying to understand or evaluate whether Google Sheets would be a good fit or not. So let's talk about that in this video. Now I'll show you a couple of things in this video which will help you understand how you can leverage Google Sheets in a problem solving way. But before that, now on one side Google Sheet does support around 500 formulas including some of the traditional ones like count and average and count ifs else etc. But also uh, some of the unique ones, including unique and import XML, do the parsing with two text and detect language and translation, etc. However, I'm not convinced that today I would be evaluating my spreadsheet tool based on the number of formulas that it supports. I do understand there are some scenarios where formulas are must to write, which is personally to me as a user is an overkill because at the end of the day as a user I feel it painful to first learn the formula especially the complex ones and then write it to get my stuff done what if we can leverage today's system intelligence and computing power to just ask our questions from our spreadsheet tools and they answer it with the context that we provided them so let me show you a couple of examples which will help you understand how you can leverage Google Sheets in a problem solving way. So here's the first example where I have my Google Sheet with a bunch of sales data that I need to present in an upcoming meeting to a team of people. So instead of me to learn some formulas and come up with those answers and this, that presentation that I'm looking for, I can leverage Google system intelligence by clicking on this explore button right here. When I click on that, you will see that it takes the context from my Google Sheet and then it suggests me some of the options for example in terms of formatting if i need to format the sheet i can just do that at one click it's formatted now let's let's talk about asking some of the questions as you see here based on the context it is recommending me some of the answers here but what if i do not need to go with these uh these suggested answers what i think if i have my own custom questions for example i'll say uh most sold product type and as soon as I enter it tells me that iVear is the most sold product now I'm not sure about you but I'm not at all a formula wizard so if I click on see formula I see bunch of uh, formula lines here which might have taken me a long time to learn and write but why would I when I can leverage Google system intelligence to handle that heavy lifting for me now next step after this is to let's say create a pivot chart instead of doing that heavy lifting again I can leverage pivot chart right here so I can say preview or I can say insert when I click on insert it says new or existing I'll say insert that to a new sheet and you might notice that it has added the pivot table right here now let's say if I need to add a chart based on this table again I don't need to do that I'll click on explore function again and based on the context on this sheet now it is suggesting me some of the visualizations maybe I can go ahead and insert this one now for my presentation I can simply go to Google slides and embed this specific visualization with a link to this sheet which means for my next team meeting, if the numbers here change, and of course they will, then I don't need to go back and forth. In my Google uh, Slides, it will show an update button because it realized that the numbers behind the scenes have changed so that I can just do one click and the visualization there will also change. So this was the first example where instead of me learning and writing those complex formulas, I can leverage Google system intelligence. Now, of course, in some cases, explore function might not be able to help me out. And that's where I can still take leverage of the 500 formulas that Google Sheets offer. And now let me show you another example. In this one, let me first help you understand the context. So I used to do Google Workspace implementations and uh, one of the 
uh, functions of that implementation is to take customers domain names and register them in Google but we also need to figure out if one of those domains is already using Google Workspace or G Suite or not and one option is to take those hundred domains manually enter them one by one to see which one is already using G Suite and which ones are not so that you know we can decide our next action with Google Sheet I automated it a bit so that it can help me solve that use case and save some of my time now the way you can solve this use case is, is by leveraging something called Google Apps Script which is JavaScript running on Google servers which means you do not need to have your own virtual machine running somewhere to have your functions and your utilities working you can leverage Google Apps Script and it supports multiple triggers for example you can have a time-based trigger to say run this function every four hours or you can also go with user side functions that I'm gonna show you now so I created this add-on and then I shared it with my colleagues so that they can also leverage this utility so for example you see the domain checker for G Suite function here I published it as an add-on so my colleagues whom I shared this add-on with can click on add-ons and then they can see the add-on called domain checker for G Suite in their add-ons when they click on setup sheet and they click on setup sheets the script will trigger and you will notice it added a new sheet here called check domains where they can add the list of domains and then tell the Google Apps script to call the third-party API to tell whether they are using G Suite or not for now I'll just go ahead and enter some sample domains which I put by the script here so if I say enter sample domains it will add a list of domains and then I'll go to tools again not the tools add-ons and then I will go to domain checker and I'll say check domains which means now it's calling some URLs behind the scene looping through these domain names and it will very soon come back to me telling which ones are using G Suite or Google Workspace which ones are not along with some visualization so this was uh, a way to solve custom use cases let me show you one more so that you can get some more idea so I was working on one of the Google workspace implementations for a customer in the past and uh, we were using a migration utility which somehow created a lot of uh, uh, unwanted labels in Google's Gmail system we had to delete those labels and we wanted to give users who are facing this issue of functionality so that they can run that tool with ease without a need to write some script etc so we created this add-on and published that add-on so that these users can go to add-ons here and then they should be able to access this labels manager for gmail so if i click on setup wizard and say create label sheets you will notice that it will start inserting some of the google sheets at the bottom uh, because of the script running behind the scenes based on user interaction with it if I need to create labels I can go to create labels enter the label names if I need to delete it I can enter label names and click on delete but for now let's say if I need to export labels I can go to export label sheet go to add-ons labels manager export labels and click export which will call my Gmail API which is part of Google workspace and that's another thing that I wanted to show you in the second example is that Google Apps Script has native connection or in integration with other Google Workspace uh, applications. For example, I call Gmail right here in Google Sheet with very limited uh, use of the scripting side. I personally think you can you can achieve a lot with Google Sheets with leveraging system intelligence and also using Apps Script. So I've seen some use cases like customers are generating proposals and agreements and NDAs based on the Google form fill up and then form data comes to Google sheet where you have a script running which will take a template from Google Doc or Google presentation take the values from Google forms and give you an automated proposal created within a few seconds I hope these couple of examples were helpful for you to understand that Google sheets are indeed very very powerful because along with around 500 formulas it supports Google app script explore functionality where you can leverage Google's system intelligence also you can call any API which can read the data from Google sheet and write the data back to Google sheet 
and other things. So if you have any custom use case or question or comment or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much.